may surprise you to know that I'm no longer a car owner and I haven't been for 10 years. However, I'm totally against Eulers because as a resident of a London borough, not only do I believe that all the cameras will be used for ulterior motives in the future, but as a consumer of people like plumbers and electricians, they're going to charge me this Eulers charge if they have to come to my home. If, like in many London boroughs, the actual council um, vehicle fleet, a lot of them are not ULES compliant. So guess who will end up paying their fines or for their ULES compliance if they have to pay to have their vans changed? So I'm totally against ULES. It's just a tax on the motorist and it's because Khan has bankrupted TfL and he wants to find another way of actually uh, financing Transport for London. In addition, he can't lose face because he's the mayor of the C40 cities, which if you don't know, is all about what's going to become smart cities across the world. here today is uh, a pollution monitor so what this tells us is how many how much pm two and a half or how much pm 10 is in the air so at the moment we're at a level of five well the the ambient uh, pollution, the ambient pollution level ambient pollution level for the world is seven so if you're in the middle of the amazon forest you'll still have seven so we're currently at five six now or oh, it's getting treacherous so you can go easily up to 20 no problem all you have to do is go down the tube station, it shoots up to 160, 170. But you can see we have loads of traffic going around us now and nothing, there's nothing coming to us at all. Where do you leave? I think it's wrong, mate. It's bad. This thing is ridiculous. We all know that Khan has messed up TfL ledger sheets and he's just looking at us, the motorists, thinking it's a bottomless well of money. Let me tell you, he said, it absolutely isn't. I've got nothing. I'm looking after my poor mum and I'm running an old banger, which, which, which incidentally only, only outputs 0.2% more particulate than my neighbours. And I'm here today in Marble Arts with all these good people to stop this because it's wrong, especially during the, during the cost of living crisis. ULES is tax on people's freedoms. It's an uh, unlawful extortion zone and it needs to stop immediately. Yeah, hello, my name's Nick Arley. I help run or organise, I've organised this today at Marble Arch. This is obviously to fight against the new expansion. Even though we would actually like to see the original ULED scrapped as well. Um, basically because there's no justification for it. It's just quite simple with that. Every, every figure Khan comes up with is a liar. We can prove he's a liar. He doesn't ever want to come up for a proper debate because we would sit and debate with him. He could bring his, his so-called experts, we bring ours but he won't do it. Two out of three said no. And that's forgetting the fact that Khan discarded over 5,000 votes. He binned them because they come from one organisation. He wouldn't allow it from Fair Fuel UK. If you go out to the expansion or the proposed expansion zone, businesses 
were 80% against it because they know it will cripple them. Imperial College run all the monitoring systems, pollution monitoring systems around London. Now, Imperial College and King's College are excellent. Their stuff you can, you can read, it's very readable, you should go and read their papers. But once again, uh, Khan has twisted it. If you notice, Khan puts out reports and alerts saying, oh, emergency pollution levels today, you know, be careful, don't go out. Uh, but when you go on to the Imperial College and the Imperial, the, the directly to the stats, it says we go between low and moderate pollution. So he's just lying. No one's checking the facts. You need to go out there, just check it for yourself. An attack on our freedom. It's an attack on our way of life. And I want to see things decided by local people in Super. local communities, we agree with that not imposed on us by someone in a very undemocratic way from a a bureaucratic institution like the Greater London Authority. Well, of course, but originally it was the Tories who introduced it in the name of Boris Johnson. Oh, the Conservatives the can make huge mistakes as well. Yeah, yeah, this is not really a party political issue. This is, as far as I'm concerned, attack on our freedom. And it's about accountability versus it, uh, it is versus um, dictatorship. Uh, and no one's voted for this. It's been no. imposed on us. So we need to unite together to say no Good. to Sadiq Khan and no to any other attempt to take away our freedom. Good. Well, I'm standing there, I'm saying this election is a referendum on yes. uh, the failed political system over the last four years. Well, certainly in Greater London, the whole yes. system has failed. And areas like mine, which are naturally Essex, we, we feel resentful of being told what to do by, by a centrally imposed bureaucracy. Completely. And the opposition in Havering is, is fantastic. Yes, absolutely. But people have got to drive at will and not pay. Yes, and make, quite right. And demand the cameras come down. Quite right too. I, I just hope, hope Mr. Khan has a change of heart, but I don't think he's going to by the sounds of things. <laughs> well, we've got to beat him into it. Yeah, absolutely. Nice to meet you. Thank you very That's much. You. Very good to All see you. you too. As far as I'm concerned, it's a big con. It's a money-making thing, and it's a way of controlling us, trying to put us all in our little boxes, which we're not going to have. We're not standing for it. People are going to take to the streets, and there are going to be more people doing this sort of thing, because this can't happen. We are going to have supposedly have this ULES in August, and when you read all what's going on, the people, the elderly people, people sick, that are not going to be able to do this. They're going to be stuck in their homes because they're going to be too frightened to go out the front door. But what we're seeing at the moment is we've got a mayor who's decided to expand the existing ULES, which covers to the north and south circular, to extend it almost to the M25, taking all of the London boroughs. And that means all cars uh, and vehicles that do not actually meet emission standards, uh, that means all below Euro 6 diesel and very older petrol cars, will have to pay a £12.50 uh, a charge just to come into London. And guess what? All this does is impact on low income families, small businesses. And that's what's happening. And it's been done uh, by ignoring a public consultation where two out of three absolutely objected to this, this scheme. And guess what? Saudi Khan ignored that and is going ahead and introducing it on August the 24th. Um, it's a disgusting thing. This is why after 30 years of being a public affairs campaign, I was approached by Richard Tyson, uh, Nigel Friles of Reform UK, to say, please, will you stand? You'll be able to get the message. And I've currently got about 8 to 9% of the vote from a standing position. Watch this space for the next 11 months. There's a lot coming through. Today, a great little anti ulus protest. It would be good to have more people, but if other people are active in every area, that is okay. You don't necessarily need many more here to make the impact here. But the important thing is people have to now, if they haven't already, go into the existing, existing ULA zone and drive at will and do not pay. Don't accept any of those charges. If you accept a charge, they'll win. In Birmingham already, people have driven so much and not paid, the council's given up. That is what you've got to do. Drive at will, do not pay, and make the councils take down the cameras. Resist! Defy! Do not pay! Resist! Defy! Do not comply! Thank you very much.